Oh no. What's wrong? Oh man. What happened? I wasn't looking and I think I just squashed this ladybug. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sure you didn't mean to do it. That hardly matters to the ladybug. It's okay. Bugs get squashed all the time and we don't even know about it. Well, I know about this one and it's my fault. Poor little one. Don't be too hard on yourself. How long do ladybugs even live? The full life cycle of a ladybug is one year long and they're super helpful in gardens. They eat pests and protect plants. Well, not this one. Snuffed out before it's time. Why do things have to die? That's heavy stuff. I have to admit, sometimes I think about that too. I, I just came to pull weeds. Like, we're supposed to have eternal life, but what does that even mean? How? Everything dies, but there's eternal life? Okay, yeah, when I'm not super busy and I'm not reading or anything, so it's just me and my thoughts, I think about that too. But it's kind of a lot to try and imagine. Never running out of tomorrows. It's kind of trippy. But how? How does it work? I need to know. Mama Luma? Hey, team. You guys finished already? Can you explain eternal life? I'll do my best. I want you to know that what you're asking, a lot of people have tried to figure out over the years, and no one is completely sure. I don't want to discourage you from asking. Just know that it's a mysterious thing. What did you want to know about it? How does it work? But when does it start? What's it like? Well, eternal means lasting or existing forever, without a beginning or an end. So eternal life is beyond time or understanding. We believe that God is eternal. In Genesis, he calls himself I am, which is like saying he just is and always has been. Okay, but I have a birthday, so I have a beginning. Am I eternal? Yes, you are. It also says in Genesis that God made you in his image. And in all throughout scripture, part of God's plan is that we would be with him in eternity, in the forever. But we also have now. How does all that work with now? You know, I think it's great that you're asking me this while we're working in a garden. There's a lot that a garden can teach us about this. How? Well, for starters, the story of us and God starts in a garden. The garden was how it was supposed to be. Life all around, and us being able to be with Him in His creation. And even though sin was brought into the world, and the time in the garden came to an end, God still has a plan, and the things that are of Him don't have an end even though sometimes they look like it. How many seeds do you think are in the soil here? I have no idea. Sometimes things are hidden and you can't see them, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Sometimes God and the eternal life he has for us can feel a long way off, but it's always there. I see the tulips have finally bloomed. Huh? Oh yeah, they just came out this week. And you were worried that maybe they weren't going to? Well, it did seem like they were taking a long time. They're my mom's favorite, and I was going to take her a couple. I thought they'd never come in. Yep, and sometimes gardening is like that. You have to wait. You know, there was 400 years of silence between the last prophets of the Old Testament and the arrival of Jesus in the New Testament. That's a long time of waiting, but God had a plan. A plan to bring life to the world. There were a lot of people waiting for God to do something, and many of them wondered if it would ever happen. But stuff dies now. We see it happen. That's true, we do. But God doesn't waste anything. If one of those tomatoes falls off the vine and rots, it breaks down and feeds the soil beneath it, which helps the vine it grew from. The whole garden works together when it's taken care of well. And we have a good gardener, and he gives life. Eternal life. It can be hard to see sometimes, like a seed in the ground that hasn't sprouted or it may be turning something that looks dead into new life, like the rotten tomato. Or it may be like our lives, which are only for a season, and we don't know how long the season is, like the flowers that bloom for a time. But God wants us with him forever. That makes it less scary, I think. Oh, sometimes it will seem scary. That's when you get to exercise your faith. Faith that you have a good gardener. Faith that he wants you to experience full life now and full life without an end. I wish this little ladybug hadn't met its end. Bram, I may not be fully equipped for this, but if my scanners are correct, hmm, why don't you try blowing a little warm air on it?